Good morning, LHS. Today is Friday, March 27, 2015. I'm Jordan. And I'm Cassidy. And this is Gail's Wrap. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week was College and Career Week. Activities included door decorating and showing everyone your creativity and college spirit. Awards will be given today for overall winner, Most Spirit, Unique College, and Community Slash Technical School. On Wednesday, students were able to attend the college fair during lunch periods. And Thursday was Armed Forces Day and students were able to test their strength at different events. And today, during the bell changes, you just might hear your favorite college fight song being played. Ohio Governor's Youth Art Exhibition, now in its 45th year, is dedicated to the educational and artistic advancement of the young and talented people in the state of Ohio. Congratulations to Lancaster High School 2015 state qualifiers, Olivia Barnett, Cynthia Browning, Trent Lindsay, Bailey Nelms, Tiffany Pico, Alexandra Rogers, Emma Snyder, and Megan Witt. Lancaster High School is proud to announce that the works of senior Tiffany Pico is included in the year's expedition. The exhibition opens at James A. Rhodes State Office Tower on April 12th and closes at the end of May. Best-selling author and Ohio native Mindy McGinnis, author of the young adult novel Not a Drop to Drink, will be speaking at the Fairfield County District Library at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, April 7th. The Lancaster High School Book Club will be assisting the author in the evening with the presentation and the book discussion. LHS students are invited to come and participate in the discussion. Congratulations to LHS marketing seniors Jacob Cordell and Asa Derry for winning the first place this weekend at the DECA State Business Competition. Jacob and Asa are a really, I call them my dynamic duo. Uh, my, they are first year marketing students and they were competing in the DECA event this year in what is called a team event. Now that's typically reserved for students that are very well seasoned within marketing and DECA programs, uh, two, three, sometimes even four year high school students. So they started out at the beginning of the year saying that they're gonna win this thing. They're gonna get first place. And I kinda chuckled and said, I, am, I appreciate your enthusiasm and, and your goal. Uh, but I quickly realized that they are a fantastic team. Uh, last week we had our state competition at the Columbus Convention Center where me and Ace uh, competed um, in the Travel and Tourism Team Decision Making event. There's people everywhere and you really, it really hits you then that you know this is, this is something big and that uh, it's not going to be easy. It definitely got your nerves going. I was up at the front taking my pictures, you know, making sure that they got, I got pictures of them getting their medal and we were able to see third place, second place and I saw uh, one of the most moving things I've seen is Jacob and Asa looked at each other because they knew th third place was gone, second place is gone, and they grabbed each other's hand and put their head down and bowed their head just for a second to wait to see if they could get first, and they got first. And they literally jumped out of their, almost jumped out of their shoes. It was just so thrilling. I, chills, tears, um, and it was also wonderful to hear all the 19 other Lancaster High School students that were in the crowd of over 70,000 people screaming and waving their arms and jumping up and down. So it was truly a celebratory moment for all. Congratulations to LHS's ACT teacher, Gina Neff, for winning the 2015 Ohio ACTE Outstanding New Career in Technical Educator Award. Ms. Neff will receive her award at the Ohio Association of Career and Technical Education Conference in July. Any girls, grades 8 through 12, if you're dreaming of going to prom or a dance, you are invited to Cinderella's Closet to choose a special, generally used dress and accessories for free of charge. Attention to any student 16 years of age or older. If you're interested in becoming a blood donor for the National Red Cross, it needs you. The National Honor Society is hosting its Spring Blood Drive on Wednesday, April 1st in our gym. 
In order to donate, you must be 16 years old and meet the height and weight requirement. See Ms. Laver during your study hall or lunch period for more information and to sign up. Wednesday, April 1st is Penny Day. Bring pennies into your teachers who are participating. Give teachers penny, money, anything at the beginning of class so you can watch movies all day long. Attention seniors! Sign-ups for the student versus staff basketball game is open until Friday. Please sign up. Seniors, this is your year to shine. Beat the teachers. Ew. Have a great, Have a great weekend. weekend, LHS. <laughs> I bye said bye. ew. <laughs> I said so ew. <laughs>